Hello, children of all ages of Pioneer Ocean View United Church of Christ. It's good to see you again. I hope your summers are going well. I would love to hear what you're up to. Have you done anything fun or special? If you made anything or drawn anything, have your parents send it to me by email or through a text picture. I would love to see your faces and what you've been up to. Today in our worship together, we're going to hear a story that is one of the most familiar in our Bible. So I wanted to share it with you today. There are four people who wrote accounts of Jesus' life, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And sometimes what they wrote is the same, and in some places what they wrote is a little different. But this story I'm about to share with you, all four of them thought this was one of the most important things about Jesus to remember and tell. So here's the story. It's Jesus Feeds 5,000. It was a beautiful sunny day as Jesus and his disciples crossed the Sea of Galilee in a boat with white sails. Jesus had been healing sick people and many people of all ages came to him again that day. Maybe they could hear more of Jesus' stories or see him show God's power through another miracle. When Jesus saw the large crowd of men, women, and children, he asked his friend Philip, how are we going to get enough food to feed all these people? Philip answered, I could work for six months and not earn enough money to buy food for all these men, women, and children. Here's that picture again. There's their boat with the sails. The disciples didn't know what to do. Just then, Andrew pointed to a young child and said, here's a boy who has five small loaves of bread and two fish. It's something, but it certainly isn't enough food for all these people. The boy looked very nervous as he said in a small voice, Jesus, please take my food if you think it will help. Jesus took the five loaves of bread and two fish that the boy offered and asked his friends to have the crowd sit down. About 5,000 people sat down on the grassy meadow by the lake that day. After Jesus gave thanks to God, he blessed the five loaves of bread and two fish. Then he shared the food with all the people who were there that day. All 5,000 people ate until they were full. Then Jesus said, now let's gather up all the leftovers. And you know what? There were enough leftover pieces of bread to fill 12 large baskets, more loaves and fishes left over than the boy had given to Jesus. The disciples shook their head in disbelief as they struggled to pick up the baskets heavy with food. People saw the full baskets of leftovers and began to understand that something extraordinary had just happened, another miracle. Jesus smiled as he heard people say, God must have sent Jesus to us. It was a day the boy, the disciples, and all the people would never forget. So there are so many things I love about that story. And like I said, each one of the people who told about that story told it just a little differently. But I love that version because it reminds us that it was a child who made that miracle possible that day. He didn't think he had enough to make a difference, but he gave it to Jesus and Jesus blessed it. And it turns out it was more than enough. So I want you to remember today that there might be times when you feel like you don't have enough to make a difference. Even grown-ups feel that way sometimes. But we can do what that little boy did. We can share what we have. We can offer it to others who are in need, and we can trust that when we do that, God will bless it and multiply it. There'll be more than we can imagine. 
That's how love works. You take a little and it multiplies. When I was in elementary school, there was a song we sang and it was called Magic Penny. And the chorus went something like, love is something if you give it away, you'll end up having more. It's just like a magic penny. Hold it tight and you won't have any. Lend it, spend it, and you'll have so many, they'll roll all over the floor. So whatever we have, we can share it and we can trust that through God's love, it will be multiplied. Would you say a prayer with me? Dear God, thank you for all that you have given us. Help us when we feel like what we have is not enough. Help us share and help us trust that when we do, your love is multiplied. Amen. All right, take care, you guys. See you soon.